The fact is that we have a product, a company that has taken a product that is very dangerous, that is three times more addicting than cigarettes, and they market it to our kids. Steve Gallardo, a member of the Phoenix Union High School Governing Board, ripping into e-cigarette maker Juul for creating what he calls a vaping epidemic among teenagers. Vaping is relatively new. It's new to the community. It's only been around for five years. Yet they have managed to now addict a whole, a whole generation of students who are now going to have lifelong pro health problems because of, of, of their product. Over the past year, e-cigarette use has skyrocketed across the country. According to the National Youth Tobacco Survey this year, vaping increased by 10.5 percent among middle school students and 27.5 percent among high school age kids. And the Center for Disease Control is reporting more than 2,000 vape-related illnesses this year alone. Students now are being suspended. Students are now missing classes. Students are now having to, to have health care problems. Many of these students lack the health care necessary to treat the addiction or health care problem. And the schools are now facing the, the unfortunate uh, consequences of Jewel's actions. Representatives from Jewel were unavailable for comment, but in response to the recent focus on teenage vaping, the company has suspended the sale of flavored e-cigarettes, and Jewel just announced that they ended the sale of its mint-flavored product.